Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In this video, I'm going to uh, give an example of the point estimation for population parameter where in this case, it is going to be the population mean of an annual income So, the Department of Statistics Malaysia here has published the annual income figures from the following selected random sample of 36 individuals so the numbers given here are in thousands of ringgit malaysia so we are now going to use this uh, sample so these are the sample in order to estimate the population mean so this is actually mu therefore um, we can use the idea of um, mu is equal to x bar so our job is to calculate x bar and x bar is just the summation of all these data points here so basically it's just um, 88 plus 91 plus 110 plus 53 and you go on to sum all the data values until the end which is 77 so since you have a big um, quite a big number of values here um, what you can do is you can just use dot 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 to represent the process of um, adding up all these data values okay and then you can divide that with the number of sample size which in this case is equal to 36 okay so um, by doing this process you should be able to get that the final answer is going to be um, 85.5 okay so um, that is very simple okay next let's look at this example suppose that a sample from a normal distribution so you immediately it should come to you that the shape of that will look like this okay having an unknown mean so the population mean is mu which is unknown and uh, the population variance is sigma squared which is also unknown so um, the sample here we only have three data values so the sample here is uh, 50 100 and 150 so use these values to estimate the population variance so in order to estimate the population variance so we know that uh, based on our previous lecture note uh, the population variance can be estimated by calculating the sample variance and the sample variance is equal to the summation of xi minus x bar squared over n minus 1 this one is from i equals to 1 until three because we only have three data values so you can see that in order to find the sample variance here you need to first calculate the sample mean so that's what we're going to do first we're going to calculate the sample mean so therefore x bar is just uh, adding up 50 and 100 and 150 and you divide that with 3 okay so so this one is 150, 150, 300 over 3. So x bar is going to be equal to 100, which is this given by this one. Right, next we're going to just um, apply um, or substitute 100 into this part here in order to calculate the sample variance. So this is going to be uh, equal to um, 50 minus... 100 squared plus okay we are going to do the summation process on top here and then we're going to have 100 uh, minus 100 squared and then we're going to have 150 minus 100 squared over 3 minus 1 which is going to be over 2 Okay, so for this one 50 minus 100 is negative 50 when you square it it's going to be positive so it will be equal to 2500 plus 
100 minus 100 is 0 so we have a 0 over there and for this one 150 minus 100 is 50 squared which is going to be equal to 2500 over 2 so you have 5000 over 2 which is equal to 2500 okay so this is the answer here 2500 the population variance is equal to 2500 all right next so do you think you can come up with a point estimate for the population standard deviation which is sigma so what is the value for sigma well based on the previous video we have seen that sigma is equal to s and this is equal to having uh, the square root of s squared and this is equal to uh, we know s squared is 2500 so square root of 2500 and that is equal to uh, 50 okay the sigma is uh, 50 all right thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video with more examples related to the point estimation